Hey kids, Mr. Vince here from the Brown Bears. Today we're going to do one of my favorite art projects. Um, it's called Marble Painting. Um, and you are going to need some marbles. I have these nice big ones that I have for my classroom. But if you don't have marbles, you could use golf balls. That works also. You're going to need a piece of paper that you're probably going to have to cut so that it fits inside of the shoebox lid. I have a nice um, shoebox lid. I got lots of shoes in my closet, so I use a shoebox lid. You're going to need some paint. I'm going to happen to use uh, the primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. You'll need a cup and a spoon to put your paint in. I did add a little bit of water into my paint just so that it's a little bit more uh, liquidy than most paints, but if not, not a big deal. So what you're going to do is you're going to put one of the marbles into the red paint, the other marble will go into the yellow paint, and the last marble will go into the blue paint. Then you have your paper, um, which I did cut because normally your paper size is like this, but it won't fit inside the shoebox lid. So I cut it to fit, and if you can see that, it slides in just perfect. Um, and then now, what you do is you just grab one of the marbles with paint all over it, rub it in there good, and then place it on your paper. Do the same with the yellow, and then finally with the blue. And this project is very simple. Just grab the edges. You don't want your hands inside, otherwise you'll get paint all over. Just grab the edges and just go back and forth. And yes, you can see it starts making a really cool design. You can go up and down this way, or you can go long ways. But do be careful, if you go too high, your marbles will fall off and uh, you'll get them all over the floor and the carpet and that won't be good. And just go back and forth. You could do, if you don't want the colors to mix up like this too much, you could do yellow first, let that dry, go back with the red, let that dry, and then do blue. But if you like to mix colors and get a different secondary color, you can put all three at the same time and just go back and forth. And when you're done, simply pull the marbles out, put them back inside their cups, and it's just going to be a very wet paper, so make sure that you have a nice place to let it dry in. But when you take it out, you'll get a very cool abstract art just like that. Do you see that? It's super fun. You can do it over and over again. Uh, try different colors. Try using different balls, golf balls, marbles, uh, tennis ball. Anything that can fit inside the box would be awesome. You can try doing just one color, wait the next day, do a second color, wait for the third day, and then do a third color, and see what colors you get out of that. It'll make it nice and cool. And then when you're done, you can hang it up. Very easy. I love doing this as a kid. And now my kids do it at least five or six times a year. I just think it's a really cool project. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you tomorrow.